Hi, we're going to talk about the halogenation of alkanes. So here's the general formula. You're going to have an alkane plus a halogen and it's going to form an alkyl halide. So here's an example. Um, I'm giving just a carbon chain. Notice that hydrogen is one hydrogen that will be replaced. It's not a carbon, it's a hydrogen that's replaced. And then this double X, X single bonded to X, is just representing a halogen. Our halogens are diatomic elements that in their elemental forms, they're always bonded to each other, covalently bonded. Now you either add light or heat to that. And notice it's really just a substitution reaction. One halogen atom replaces the hydrogen and the hydrogen that's replaced is then bonded to a halogen. Let me show you an example. Let's look at number one. So I have methane and it's going to react with chlorine, so Cl2. Notice this chlorine is going to substitute, it's going to replace that hydrogen. So after the reaction, add light. There's your chlorine. It's going to be called chloromethane and a hydrogen is now attached to the second chlorine. Nice. Let's do a couple more examples just so that uh, you get really comfortable with it. Here is a cyclohexane. Now, to show exactly where hydrogens and the bromine are moving, I went ahead and I drew the two hydrogens. You and I both know that we wouldn't draw those hydrogens, uh, that you just look at that conjunction, you go, oh, this carbon is bonded to two carbons that has two hydrogens. I just want you to see this explicitly. So we're going to react this with bromine, a Br2, add heat, so one hydrogen, and it does not matter which hydrogen you choose, okay? It doesn't matter. Uh, one hydrogen is replaced, substituted, with a bromine, and, this, and that hydrogen is then bonded to the second bromine. So a couple of different ways that you could see this uh, in a question. Here's our reaction. You're going to have a butane plus a fluorine. We're going to add light to this. Now you know that there are two hydrogens on each of those carbons. Each carbon has uh, two bonds to carbon, so it'd have two hydrogen bonds. You can pick any hydrogen. I chose to write it in this top right hand corner. It does not matter. We could have written hydrogen on anyone or fluorine on any one of those car those corners. Uh, so I just did the top right corner. That fluorine is going to substitute. It's going to replace one hydrogen. And then the second fluorine is going to be bonded with the hydrogen that was kicked off. So again, notice a hydrogen is kicked off. It's substituted. The chlorine replaces it and then the hydrogen bonds to the second, the remaining halogen. Let's look at this one. Uh, so I have this long compound, uh, might seem a little intimidating, or like, oh, where, where do I do the substitution? I typically always pick the last hydrogen, okay? The most right hydrogen. Uh, so we have this long compound, we're going to react it with bromine, add heat. Now I wrote this out explicitly so you could see it. So this carbon has three methyl groups on it. This carbon has the two methyl groups. Um, and then this carbon used to have a third methyl group. I simply replaced one hydrogen. So I substituted one hydrogen, kicked off the hydrogen, the bromine's attached, and that hydrogen is now attached to that second bromine. So there's your halogenation of alkanes. Pretty simple. If you're going back to this principle, you remove one hydrogen from the carbon, attach the halogen to it, and then the second halogen is what? It's going to bond to your, uh, your hydrogen. Okay, nice, good job, have a great day.